we're seeing a dramatic improvement in progression-free survival. Uh, if we say that we're increasing median survival with the combination of CDK inhibition and letrozole to over 18 months, this is for women in their first-line setting. So we know that the big impact on survival and breast cancer has come from, you know, that they can get several lines of therapy. There's a lot of active drugs. And after they progress on their first line therapy, they can go on to two, three, four, or more active regimens. But the biggest bang for your buck comes up front. And here we're showing that we're potentially doubling to tripling that first run, that first progression on therapy. And that, we think, will have a dramatic improvement on overall survival as well. This project has moved much faster than we would have expected. Uh, we have gone from getting this novel molecule into the lab to getting it into people, getting it into a phase two study and a phase three study within four or five years. Uh, this is really an incredible pace to move things forward. And this, this pace was really allowed by philanthropy. What philanthropy does that other funding mechanisms do not allow is it gives us the freedom to take high-risk ideas and move them along quickly. We're very much interested in a partnership with our donors uh, to give them a sense of ownership of our projects because without it, you know, again, this project and other projects wouldn't move forward.